Searching for a lost squadron of Navy bombers, they may have stumbled upon another of the Triangle's victims. A massive shipwreck. What is it? We found a wreck that's about 200 feet long, about 24 and a half foot beam. We noticed that it was carrying a very bizarre cargo, this white clay-like material. We took a sample of that because we figured if we can identify the cargo, potentially we could identify the wreck. Barnett's team heads to the surface to try to work out what they found. This is a sample of cargo. It just looks like a white grayish clay, but it's just tons of it down there. So I'm, I'm curious what this is. After assessing the evidence, Barnett matches the wreck to a famous unsolved Bermuda Triangle disappearance. A cargo ship lost in April 1950 and never heard from again, the Sandra. The Sandra left Savannah with a 12-man crew and vanished. Thought to have been swallowed by the legendary Bermuda Triangle. We found a record of a vessel called the Sandra that was lost in 1950, and it was carrying a cargo of DDT. And when we actually analyzed the cargo, we found out it was kaolin clay, which is used as an insecticide or pesticide, as well as traces of DDT. We know when the center left Savannah, Georgia, headed south along the North Florida coast, it would pass right over where we're diving, where this mystery wreck is. And all the dimensions, all the machinery matched exactly what the Sandra was. We put all this evidence all together. Cumulatively, it was overwhelming that the mystery wreck was indeed the Sandra. For the Bermuda Triangle investigation team, it's a major discovery. A 200-foot ship thought to be vanished forever is now found. 